Hello my dear friends, this is Huge and Blind and it's my EU4 war history guide. Today we will speak about the Reconquista. Such a name was given to a period which was lasted for nearly 800 years. It was a period of wars between the Christian uh, kingdoms of the Iberian Peninsula and the Arabian Caliphates. This period has started uh, uh, in the date of uh, 711 from the Arabian invasion into the uh, uh, the, kind uh, the kingdom of Westcott, the Visigothic kingdom of Hispania. Uh, after, as I usually like to say, after the fall of the uh, Western Roman Empire, all of its uh, uh, provinces were divided between the barbarian kingdoms and the uh, Iberian Peninsula was uh, conquered by the West Gods and the, the West Gothic uh, kingdom was created. Uh, but as I already said in uh, 711 year the Arabs uh, uh, started their conquest of the peninsula and finished it really quick already in 718 uh, all the territory of this kingdom was conquered except some uh, areas in the north uh, the mount in the mountains uh, the rest of the Visigothic nobility uh, still uh, controlled some of the uh, mountain castles and to, uh, uh, continued the rebellion against the uh, Arabian uh, forces. But, uh, the um, conquest was continued, the um, Halifax tried to continue it, uh, they uh, went into the Dutch of Aquitaine and uh, tr uh, raid, uh, raided uh, for some years, but in uh, uh, the year of 732, they were beaten by the uh, force, the United Forces of the Duke of Aquitaine and the uh, King of uh, Francia, uh, Charles Martel. So after this defeat, the um, Arabian forces were driven out of today's France back into the Iberian Peninsula, uh, and uh, in the second part of the ninth uh, century, the um, uh, already we may say that the Reconquista had started. So the Frankish army, uh, together with its allies. Uh, uh, conquered the north part of the today Spain, and in the year of uh, 801, uh, the Spanish mark was uh, created. Uh, as I already told you in my Aragon uh, history guide, it was uh, the um, uh, territory of couple several counties, uh, which was under the rulership of the Frankish kingdom. And uh, here starts the one of the second oldest uh, Iberian kingdom, the kingdom of uh, Navarra. Uh, first, it was uh, um, it gained its independence really soon. So the Spanish mark was created in the year 801, and already in the year 824. The, uh, uh, the county of Pamplona rebelled against the uh, Fra um, Frankish kingdom and gained some kind of independence here. Uh, and in the, for the next, uh, even for the next two, uh, not some kind of one uh, century, uh, they. Um, uh, was fighting with uh, its uh, neighbors uh, and uh, increasing its realm and uh, the main uh, 
uh, the main power of Kingdom of Navarre gained in the year of uh, uh, not the Kingdom of Navarre but the Kingdom of Pamplona. Uh, the main uh, its most powerful period was at the beginning of the 11th century. Then it was able to control uh, all the north, most of the north of the Iberian Peninsula, most of the kingdoms who, about we, which we will speak a bit later, but uh, it uh, collapsed really soon and uh, already at the beginning of the 12th century Navarra uh, was driven back to its uh, borders or something like this uh, and uh, in uh, uh, in 1162 the kingdom of Navarra already was created so the kingdom of Poplon was was gone and the kingdom of Navarra uh, was created uh, but uh, as I already said, uh, this kingdom was the second oldest kingdom, and the first one was the um, kingdom of Asturia. Uh, the uh, nobles the, uh, of the, the Visigothic nobles was uh, were rebelling in the mountains of the north of this peninsula. And due to the weakness of the Arabian garrisons here, as most of the Arabian forces who, after the conquest moved back to the North Africa and the south of Iberia. So these garrisons were not able to deal with the rebels, and that's why the uh, Asturias Asturia was able to conquer some um, some large territories, I must say, so they uh, were controlling all the north of the all the north of the Iberia. Uh, and in uh, in the year uh, 924, King uh, Alf uh, Alfonso III, uh, after conquering the uh, that uh, the territory of uh, Leon, the city of Leon. Uh, uh, created the kingdom of uh, Leon, so the story was uh, turned into the kingdom of Leon. And he, this king, Alfonso III, uh, divided his realm in order to, um, as he was thinking to manage it in a better way, into several kingdoms, uh, into several duchies. The Duchy of Galicia, the Duchy of Leon uh, itself, the Dutch of Portugal and the Dutch of Castile. As you can understand, this uh, divide gives a uh, future to the most uh, powerful kingdoms of the Iberian Peninsula. Uh, well, but we will speak about them a bit later, and then now we will come back here and we'll speak about the uh, uh, Dutch. Um, a Duchy of Aragon, the, uh, also one of the most powerful uh, uh, kingdoms in the Iberia. It was first; it was uh, dependent on the Kingdom of Navarra. Uh, it was some kind of their vassal, uh, but in the year of 1135, it uh, gained its independence from the Pamplona, uh, and uh, soon managed even to uh, vassalize uh, the Navarra itself and the neighboring Catalanian uh, counties and then to continue its conquest into the Mediterranean and the, um, into their uh, Arabian territories. But uh, all about is all about it, I already told you in my Aragon history guide. So it's also one of the most uh, powerful kingdoms, uh, one of the most uh, powerful uh, Christian kingdoms in the Iberia. And coming back to the Leon, Castile and Portugal, so um, uh, then uh, the Kingdom of Leon was divided in such, uh, in such a way uh, 
you can it can be easily you can easily predict that uh, some troubles happened after the King Alfonso III has died. So the Kingdom of Leon was for the nearly all the uh, ele all the 10th century is in uh, the internal conflicts uh, during which all of these uh, states gained some kind of autonomy or even independence. All the Castile, Portugal, Galicia. Leon was man managed in uh, the year of 1038 uh, reconquer the uh, kingdom of the Dutch of uh, Galicia uh, once and for all, but the uh, Dutch of Portugal and Castile still uh, were in some years they were under the control of Leon, in some years they were um, independent. Uh, such a situation lasted till the year 2030, then the King of Castile managed during the succession uh, gained the entire control of two kingdoms, kingdoms, Kingdom of Leon and Castile. So now it was the crown of Castile Kingdom. And if we will speak about the uh, Kingdom of Portugal, it was officially just one one minute yeah officially it was created in the year of 1139 uh, during the uh, conquest of the south of the Galician, Galician lands uh, and uh, um, soon uh, the newborn Portugal kingdom was able to move south in already in the 1148 uh, Lisbon was uh, the fortress of Lisbon was captured and uh, uh, the reconquista for Portugal continued and all, uh, and in the uh, uh, 1249 the, um, the last um, fortress uh, on the Portugal, future Portugal territory uh, in Algarve uh, was uh, conquered and f uh, the, on this the reconquista for Portugal was over. So all um, uh, the rest uh, uh, battles and uh, war campaigns was, um, uh, was led by the Castile itself and in some cases by Aragon. Well, but uh, it may be um, you may ask a question: Why, uh, if the Arabs conquered all entire Iberian Peninsula, how do, uh, how such a tiny um, group of uh, rebels? Yeah, and the Spanish mark, with, which was all also not so powerful, it was uh, d um, divided uh, counties with no uh, some centralized uh, uh, power here how we were managed to reconquest all the peninsula so it's uh, um, I'll try to tell you how it how it could how it uh, could be so when the Arabian uh, invasion started uh, the Arabian Caliphate was united, so these forces was were part of the um, Abbasid, uh, Abbasid dynasty, which were which were managed to uh, conquer some huge territories of the Arabia, of Egypt, all the North Africa, and now they moved into Iberia. But soon after the conquest was finished, the dynasty of uh, Umayyad. Uh, that from which were most of the uh, Arab generals here uh, claimed that uh, they now they create their own caliphate of Al Andalusia and they were already independent from the Abbasids. And soon um, after this, in the 10th century, already the Cordobian caliphate was created the capital as you may guess in Cordoba and all the uh, the main weak point of this uh, 
kingdoms or caliphates was the way of management, managing them. Oh, most of the territories were divided uh, between the um, generals, governors, and they all were not so really uh, loyal to the main uh, rulers in the capital. Uh, and uh, and all, also there were constant uh, internal conflicts for the uh, for the possibility to rule all the, uh, the entire caliphate. That's why uh, that's why um, uh, not so much attention were uh, paid to the rebels in the north and to the Spanish mark, uh, and uh, that's why the. Um, Christian kingdoms just were able to deal with this um, little elephants one by one. Uh, the, especially it was in the at uh, the beginning of the 11th century then uh, so called the Taifa kingdoms was created as I already told you it was such a, uh, independent counties with its own uh, Govern, uh, governor who was not so really loyal to the center uh, but uh, and that's why already due by the end of the 11th century uh, nearly half of the uh, Iberia was reconquered especially successful was uh, the most success was in uh, 1085 then the Toledo the old um, capital of the Visigothic kingdom was conquered, you know, was reconquered. Uh, soon, by, uh, soon after this, the Daitha kingdoms asked for the help for, you know, from the Almoravids, the new uh, dynasty, the new power which was born in the North Africa uh, by uh, the beat the previous. Umiyyad dynasty and what was rest from them in the north uh, of Africa and uh, they uh, came into the Iberia but they were even managed to beat the in some battles the Christian armies but their main aim was not to reconquer already uh, once again by the Muslim uh, armies but just to um, retake what was left from the Cordoban Caliphate. So they just conquered all the Arabian what was already under the Arabian control and nearly stopped. That uh, was really a good situation for the Christian kingdoms. We managed to uh, recover and continued the uh, Conquest. So, uh, in um, nine, uh, 1084, Valencia was conquered, and um, the Arabian, Arabians uh, were was driven to uh, far to the south. Uh, and once again, at the beginning of the 12th century, the second uh, period of Taifa kingdoms started. Once again, the caliphate was divided into little counties, which were the easy target for the Christian kingdoms. Uh, and once again, they asked for some support from North Africa. And now, the new power of Almohads, the new dynasty of uh, Berbers from here, came to their help, but once again, we were not succe uh, successful, and in twelve, uh, in the year of twelve, twelve, uh, in the battle of uh, Las Las Navas de Tolosa, how oh, it's such a good name, I think, especially in Spanish, it sounds good. I think uh, uh, somewhere in uh, Andalusia, somewhere here, uh, during this battle, the main Arabian. Uh, barbarian already army was beaten and it can be called as the final step of the Reconquista. Soon after this uh, the only Arabian uh, kingdom, Arabian Caliphate, 
uh, still left in the Iberian Peninsula War was uh, Granada, this one. And uh, but uh, uh, it um, was still independent uh, till the uh, uh, the date of 1492, uh, so nearly for. Uh, more than nearly for yeah, 200 years, or even 300 years, they still managed to be independent, but it's more due to uh, st uh, the internal conflicts between the um, Christian kingdoms, which were started between the Castile and Aragon, uh, uh, Castile and Portugal, even because uh, uh, now they are understanding that the Caliphs are already not the real power here, and uh, started to fight for the uh, Charles for the dominating uh, in Spain. And the, as I already told you, in 1492, the Granada was taken, and this uh, can be called an official date of the reconquest was finally finished. It was last for something like 770 years and it uh, finished with the uh, absolutely total reconquest of the Iberia. Well, I hope that's all I wanted to say. It's I already a bit tired from all these uh, dates um, and uh, how how it was happening here here and there i hope it was really useful for you now you understand why the situation here is uh, like this uh, from where the portugal castile and aragon navarra uh, uh, are appeared and hope it will it will make you the, make your game for all of these countries are even more interesting. Well, thanks. That's on this is all. Uh, thanks for your attention. We'll be really grateful for your likes, subscribes, comments, any activities. Well, once again, thank you and goodbye. So, hope to see you here again. So the videos will appear. I'll try to do it. That uh, will appear every day either streams or some guides and so returned and uh, I will I hope you will enjoy it thanks a lot bye bye